With the third person project, go ahead and make an enum for our three player stances. Inside the player blueprint, we're going to make a stance variable and a function to switch stances. We'll be calling this in two instances, so let's create a bool that will branch into two stance changes for when the player is standing still and moving. Set how the stances should change and based on the stance, change the player's speed. Create a crouch and move input action which we will add in the player blueprint to call the switch stance function. Time to get some stealth animations from Xamo. Using a custom mannequin model with no root bone, we'll choose and download stealth animations. Import them into the project along with our custom mannequin model. Create blend spaces to make some nice idle to moving transitions. Create an animation blueprint and add a new state machine. Add our two blend spaces along with the crouch animation and connect them to each other. Create a stance variable and use it inside the transition line as a rule when to transition. Look at him, he loves it! Create a float variable and connect it to both of our blend spaces. Get the player velocity and set the speed variable. We'll do the same to get the stance variable from the player. Add the new mannequin to the player blueprint and look at that, he's alive! For the camo UI, we'll create a widget blueprint and add a nice little camo image box up in the right corner. Add text for the percentage number with the percentage symbol along with some cool outlines. Create current and new percentage float variables. In the tick event, set the current percentage with an f interp to constant using the current percentage, new percentage, and delta time with an interp speed of 50. Truncate the current percentage, use that value to set the percentage text, and if the percentage is lower than 0, make the text red. Create an event that sets the new percentage. In the player blueprint, create the widget, save a reference, and add to viewport. Create a ground and grass physical material. Create a new material, color it green, and make it translucent. This will be a grass material. Assign the grass physical material to it. Assign the ground physical material to the other materials. Create a struct with an idle, walk, crouch, prone, and crawl integer. With that struct, create a data table with a ground and grass row. Set all the ground and grass values. In the player blueprint tick event, do a line trace for objects using the player's location and 150 units down looking for world dynamic objects. Get the hit output, check if the physical material equals grass, and based on that, select the data table row for the get data table row function. With the raw output, get the stance state values, and using the stance enum and the player speed, we get the camo percentage that we pass along to the widget. Drop in that grass mesh we made, and there you go! You can go around stealthing in all kinds of different environments. With a little more time and polish, you can create some awesome looking stealth games.